So, Dr. Zeher, thank you once again yesterday for a fantastic keynote speech. You really inspired us and, uh, and brought back home the reality of life in Syria once again. So for those of you who aren't aware, it's recorded and it'll be online uh, to look at again tomorrow. But now, for something completely different, let's look at something practical that you've done uh, to help uh, your colleagues in the field. Dr. Zeher. So, uh, yesterday in the presentation, I mentioned that there are areas in Syria that are under siege yes. and they are difficult to reach. Mm -hmm. So how can we try to improve health care in these areas, especially in the intensive care unit? Mm -hmm. You have very sick patients. We have shortage of critical care specialists in Syria. So we devised this uh, very cheap technology where we can connect from United States mm -hmm. to ICUs in Syria mm -hmm. using simple cameras and using uh, simple sat uh, satellite internet. And uh, what I'm going to do here, we have a very uh, small uh, application called SmartCam uh, that you can download it for free. Uh, and I'm going to connect to one of, of the ICUs in Syria right now in a city called Marit and Norman. So I'm going to put so it's encrypted as always? It's, uh, it's kind of encrypted, it, right. So, and I'll be trying to talk to uh, the um, doctors in, in Marit and Norman. So we're now connecting to the camera in the ICU in Marit and Norman. Marit and Norman is in the provenance of Idlib. Uh, it's an area that is being bombed mm -hmm. frequently. Uh, hopefully we can get the connection here. So this so, is live. We're this is live. Uh, this is with the ICU in Marat and Oman. I'm going to talk now with different phone with a doctor on the other side to tell him to start telling us about the patients. Understood. Yeah. So, so, so here this is like a virtual ward round that you were able to do with the, the junior doctors in still working in Syria. Exactly. Okay. So the advantage of this is that you provide 24 hours coverage, seven days a week, by critical care specialist in the mm -hmm. intensive care unit in the United States. Mm -hmm. And they can uh, uh, advise uh, the junior physicians and the nurses and the technician in Syria on how to deal with very difficult patients. And this is life-saving. Mm -hmm. So you provide training, mentoring, um, uh, advice, uh, consultation, all of these things. So I'm going to talk with uh, Dr. Sami on the other side using WhatsApp. Oh, so that's interesting. We go back to <laughs> what's been mentioned before. So I'm going to use WhatsApp too. I'm going to speak in Arabic. Assalamu uh, alaikum, Dr. Sami. كيف حالك؟ ممكن تبلش تحكي لنا على الله سلامك. فنحن هلا هون معنا تيم من Doctors Without Borders (MSF). فهن هلا عم يشوفوا الكاميرا. فإذا بتحب تحكي لنا على المرضى تبعوتك، وأنا بترجم لهم. This is Dr. Sami. We all say hello. تفضل. طيب وممكن انت تحمل الكاميرا من مريض لمريض. He says hello to everyone. <laughs> He likes MSF. <laughs> so we have nurses and we have um, uh, physicians on call uh, in Marat and Norman. Uh, and uh, and they have six beds in this ICU. And as you see, it's actually quite developed. They have monitors, they have ventilators. Mm -hmm. uh, right now in Damascus, it's uh, 12 o'clock, so we have two hours difference. Yep. Yeah. And so what kind of support are you giving? Is it technical expertise? Uh, it's actually all kind of support. So, um, and I can show you uh, the different application that we are using. Mm -hmm. So they can, usually they send us um, uh, information about the patients, vital signs, mm -hmm. um, they uh, sh send us x-rays, mm -hmm. uh, they send us um, EKGs, mm -hmm. um, and they ask us questions about what should we do if the patient's blood pressure dropped, or mm -hmm. what type of antibiotics we mm -hmm. should use right now. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, and so you're using multiple different applications to support in different ways. Exactly. So mm -hmm. some, some right. applications for voice so that you can speak directly, others for camera. Some, some of the cameras, we have actually nine ICUs. Mm -hmm. Some of the cameras are equipped with voice, mm -hmm. uh, so okay. I can uh, listen to them. Yeah. We can uh, hear them on the camera, but they cannot hear me in okay. this particular ICU. Okay. Uh, let me try to connect again. We lost the connection. Um, and what things have worked well with this system that you've developed, and mm -hmm. what things do you think you would like to develop? 
I mean, the, the, the most important uh, aspect of this that this is very cheap technology. Mm. Uh, we have the ICU and telemedicine in the United States, uh, but it's yeah. very expensive. It mm. uh, costs millions of dollars. Yeah. And in my hospital in Chicago, we connect to different hospitals and we use this technology, but yeah. it's, uh, it costs the hospital millions of yeah. dollars. But this is, you know, this camera, you can buy it from Best Buy for $100. Yeah. Uh, you can install it very cheaply in Syria, of yeah. course. Um, we have to have a satellite internet to... Um, because this is cross-border yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, technology, because there is no actually internet lines in that area in Syria. So you're yeah. across to Turkey and then out of Turkey. Exactly, yeah. and uh, we used uh, one of our sister organizations, which we collaborate with, called Syrian um, uh, Engineer yeah. um, uh, Association, American Association. They devised this technology to amplify the, uh, the signal. The signal. Yeah. Through using microwave, mm. uh, I'm, I'm not, uh, <laughs> but uh, that's what I know. So they use the microwave receiver that amplify the signal and then transmit it through Turkey, then to the um, to the satellite, and then we can get this signal very clearly. So here, just I, if we use telemedicine for for other consultations, so non-intensive care consultations in other countries. Have you tried that in Syria as well, or is it is yes it purely for? We're right now starting two uh, telemedicine projects. One of them is telepsych. Mm -hmm. um, for mental health, okay. uh, so to provide consultation for, uh, because we have a shortage of uh, psychiatrists, and as you know, there is a huge uh, crisis with mm -hmm. mental health because of the violence and PTSD. Uh, and then, uh, so Dr. Sami right now is telling us about the patients. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is one of the patients he's describing, mm -hmm. and um, you know, he tell us vital signs and what's going on uh, with the patient, and um, he can ask questions, of course, through uh, WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. um, and I'll show you uh, after he finishes. Let me ask him questions. If you want to ask him questions online, Dr. Sami, Dr. Sami, eh, mungkin bdan bdan asili shabab hone. If you want to ask him any questions about maybe the benefit of technology, yeah, and and also maybe the some of the things that he's found that have been difficult with the system. طيب دكتور سامي هوني عم يسألوك الشباب إنه شو الشغلات اللي لقيتها إنه uh, يعني نواقص بال بالسيستم هذا تبع الكاميرا او شو الشغلات اللي ممكن نحسنها وشو الشغلات الايجابيه والله يعني احنا قبل الكاميرا يعني كنا نعتمد على سنس بسيط يعني فحسن وضع الموضوع ايه سيد ذا ادفانتج they use only to depend on their own uh, expertise, but mm -hmm. right now they have the advantage of using the expertise of uh, a critical care specialists in the United States, and that's a big advantage. طيب دكتور سامي شو الشغلات اللي لقيتها إنه ممكن تتحسن بالنظام أو السيستم؟ شو الشغلات اللازم؟ He said that there is no. One. <laughs> <laughs> it's very well. That's nice. a wonderful. Uh, that's a wonderful quote on which to. Wish to. Everyone, honey, كل الشباب هون بيتمنوا لك الخير وبتمنوا إنه تكون الأمور عندكم سلام. في عندكم اليوم مشاكل أو bombing أو هيك شغلات ولا إن شاء الله الأمور مستقرة. There is no bombing today. الحمد لله. الحمد لله سلامتك. Selena al Shabab Kulayaton. I'm thanking him on behalf of uh, yeah, MSF. Absolutely, and sending my best wishes and congratulations okay. for the fantastic work. And we will say to you, Shabab, Allah will give you the best. And inshallah, we will see you soon. On all of Dr. Sami, after a few hours, you can also call you again. Can you? Okay. 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 Fantastic. Well, Dr. Zahir, thank you very much indeed. That's oh, really welcome. fascinating. It's, uh, and, and it must hugely reduce the feeling of isolation that some of your oh, colleagues Definitely. Have. I mean, the most important thing that when we ask doctors in Syria, and, and that can be applied on other areas of conflict, yeah. what do you need from us? Yes. They, they wanted support. They want yeah. to make sure that someone is with them, yeah. whether by sending them medical supplies or medications mm. or providing them with training, yeah. or at least they know that they can contact someone to, to talk about difficult patients yeah. or to tell them that our hospital, unfortunately, yeah. is 
now under threat or bombed and things like that. So we can be their voice to the outside. Uh, now, let me show you Viber. This is another application that we use. So this is an ICU in Aleppo. And we use Viber uh, application, which is also available for um, anybody to download anybody. for free. And this is uh, an, IC, uh, an ICU uh, from a specialist from Aleppo who is telling us about uh, his patient. Uh, they send us pictures of the vital mm -hmm. signs, uh, information about the patient. This is, of course, in Arabic. Uh, this is blood gases. Mm. Um, and they ask questions, what should we do? Um, so by simply using existing yeah. WhatsApp, Viber, and multimedia, and by adding is, simple technology... Uh, yeah. that, uh, and actually this is much uh, easier to use. Than all the complicated stuff uh, that exactly. you pay millions for in, the, in your Chicago hospital. Uh, exactly. Yeah. And, uh, so, and we can use it in Chicago, of course. <laughs> <laughs> so you can, look, you can look at the chest x-ray, you can look at the vital signs, uh, all kind of information. They can just take a picture and send it through Viber. And, uh, and uh, that, that way you can provide money yeah. for our company. Fantastic. Dr. Yeah. Zahir, thank you very much indeed. That's really fascinating. Thank and congratulations on, on being able to provide uh, through, the, well, through a large worldwide network lots of support to the people on the ground. That's great. Thank you very thank much. Thank you very much. Thanks. You're welcome.